Hello everyone, welcome back again with a new video. In the last video, we have seen how these user APIs are working from the front end. Like when we are going to the admin route, so how we are fetching the data and how, how we are storing onto the Redux. Okay, now in this video, we will be dealing with the contract related information. First one is the getting the contract. Second one is the creation of the contract. Third one, approving the contract. And fourth is the waiving the contract. So these are the different API we will be dealing with now. First thing, so when I'm going to the in-progress contract, let me just show you here. So which component is getting triggered? Let me open the VS code now. I'm just searching with the in-progress contract. We can just search within the UI itself. Let me just open. Okay, here we have, this is the main component and inside this we have these different tabs we can say in progress, active, expiring, soon and all. So these are the different tabs under the same components and we will have this kind of component conditionally. When we click on this in progress tab, this will get displayed uh, in progress contract list. If we have this active tab, it will, this component will get displayed here. Okay, let me show you here. Don't worry, you do not need to run right now. So I will run at the end once we are done with this basic flow from the front end itself. Okay, index, history, again, uh, so we have these different tabs here. At the top, contract list is there. In progress, active. So it is available here. Index.js, okay, here. Expiring soon, all. If tab one is active, we are just according the in-progress contract. So let's go to this component here. Again, inside this component, we have one more contract list view, which is common component for all this tab. So in-progress, active, expiring soon and all, because only variable is uh, the API call parameters, like status equal to in-progress, status equal to active, status equal to all, or maybe end date. And expiring soon is the end ended something greater than 30 days or something. So we have common component contract view, contract list view. Okay, inside this contract list view. So again, we are we are doing the same thing. If there is in a contract and all, so we are just showing as it is contract list. And the same com this same set is getting populated here. So another one thing, we have a lot of other things here. View contract or approve contract. There are two models right here view contract and approve contract two buttons are there and when you click on that one popular one dialogue will come here i will show you but yeah first try to fetch the contracts here refresh data okay you when you, we, we have this is the default hook use effect and it is getting called first time uh, in the component render so from here again we are just checking whether the user is logged in otherwise it will get logged out immediately if we do not have any token because token is required for making any api call so that's why we are just uh, redirecting to the auth login uh, right now we have the token because we logged in and uh, we are storing that token to the local storage. Here is the get contract method. So let's go to that method. This dispatch, we are dispatching one action here, get agreements. Filter type equal to whatever we are getting from the uh, parent component, props.status. So in progress contract, we can see here, we are getting the status equal to in progress. We are setting as a property, okay, uh, for this component. So we are just getting status, whatever status we have. And accordingly, we are calling this get agreement. This get agreement is the action where we are making the API calls, okay? We can see here, this is the paginated response uh, API call. So we are just checking the page size and page uh, other things here. Bookmark is also there. One For the blockchain call, we might require bookmark as well for making the one more call for the next page. But I have not implemented that pagination for the contract list. So make sure you can uh, try at least how to do it. Just we have to have one kind of next or previous, next previous button at the bottom. And when you click on the next, we have to pass the bookmark link, whatever we are getting in the first API request. So you will get next uh, specific item. So let's consider at the first, we faced five contract and we got a bookmark link. So when you are getting next five, so we have to just pass that bookmark link. So next five result will come actually as a context. Okay, so date, data dot page size and filter here, we are passing this as a query parameter filter. And finally, we are making 
the API call here access dot gate routes dot gate agreements. So this was the call where uh, in, from the postman also we have triggered and this is returning the all the agreements in the database. Okay, what is the response type? Let me open this gate agreements. Here we have okay. data is the array and inside this we have multiple contracts. Okay. And you can see here metadata is the record count is two and bookmark is this one. So when we are passing this bookmark, next time we will get a next a list of the contract if we have into the database. Okay, so again, we are creating again. So we are calling this action in get agreement and I'm just going there. Reduces, we have to go agreement. Yeah, gate agreement we can see end gate agreements. Here we are just returning this data as it is. And for the gate agreement at the bottom, we are assigning to the gate um, this agreements. Agreements equal to gate agreement. So it's returning whatever the payload we have. So in the reducer, we will have this data in in front of the agreement. So this is the one key, and we'll have all the response what we are getting from the postman. So let me just show you that. Okay, this is the reducer centralized state. Actually, we can say in the agreements. Here we have list of the agreement inside the data and metadata. Inside data, there are two contracts. So we'll be able to see all the contracts as well. Contract created at action states and everything we can just check in the Redux dev tool. You can just install this extension. You will be able to access all the these kind of different state and the actions and everything whenever there is a uh, trigger. Okay, so this is all about the getting the contract again for the active contract. Uh, the same component is getting triggered. Only the difference is state status equal to active. Expiring soon also. Only difference, it, it's calling some additional parameter, some additional status actually. So something is there. Maybe from the back end, we can just check. Let's go there uh, probably. Okay, here uh, in the contract list, gate agreement is in the action. We're making API call. Okay, this gate agreement API we have to call and in the API, SRC routes, agreement route, and here we have gate agreements. This is the method. This is the method it's getting called. Okay, so again here we are passing to the service and from the service we are making the call as per the query parameter we are getting status actually and for the expiring soon contract what we are getting expiring soon as the status actually so accordingly we are creating the selector here okay so this is all about the getting the contract now next thing when we're talking about the view contract, we have additional one method here, get agreement by ID. And for that, we are just populating that information. Right now, there is no approval here. So that's why we're not able to see in the contract journey anything at the bottom. But when you click on the show, we will be able to see the PDF which we have attached during the contract creation. Okay, so we will be checking after creation of the contract. Yeah, this is the view part. Next one is the approval. So in, in progress contract, we can be approved and here, test 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 and status should be so i i added some kind of validations actually let me just check what status i have added here approvals okay status i'm expecting 
approved rejected and others approved rejected and others okay we have to pass that only oh shit approve test 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 here approved okay so i added the approve and this is the contract we have and now when i click on the approve it will just hit that api for the approval of this contract and that contract will be visible in the active section because when we are adding any kind of approvals we are making the status of that contract in the active okay let me just open okay we can see here there are three contracts now in the in progress we will be able to see only one now i think all right okay now in the active contract let's see the approvals view we can see here this is the new approval got added before some time only okay one more uh, we what we can do once we are done with this contract uh, so we'll log in into the other organization user and we'll try to add one more approval and let's see that how exactly it shows okay so this was the overall about the view and approve the contract now let's create one more contract here test for one one two three okay contract type is agreement contract details is test uh first part is organization one organization two this is getting selected as per the logged in user so we have only two organization and it's hard coded so you can change make the changes accordingly as per your requirement okay this is the date start date end date comment test and the document we can choose any pdf file okay i'm choosing the test pdf now all right and now i'm submitting the contract so name of the contract is test pound one two three okay it's not getting refreshed immediately because i did not make a call actually probably we can make some kind of updates there so you'll be able to check immediately okay here the status of the contract is in progress and we have just created this contract now what we can do from the other organization we can just log in and just check we are able to create this contract now and let's see uh see the contract actually when I, okay hold on okay yeah we are not able to see any kind of approvals here when i'm clicking on the show files it will just redirect to the new tab and it will open that test video which i attached okay here so these are the different operations on the contract itself now what we can do we can just log in into the other organization and check these contract only because other organizations are part of this all the contracts so let's see by logging into their system we can cover this part in the next section thank you so much